Hi, this is Kim from the Hypertufa Gardener. Thanks for stopping by today. And I am going to tell you our adventure of the yellow jackets in my house. One morning, noticed some yellow jackets kind of on my windowsill, and one or two were buzzing around through the window. And I was horrified. I didn't know what had happened. So we started with binoculars and everything. Uh, my camera, I tried to zoom in on the area above my window and around my window. And to our horror, we did find nests right above the window of my bedroom. You can see those here in the film. It was horrifying. We thought, there's not anything we can do. This is 25 feet above ground. Call a professional. With a gentleman, Eric, from Freebie Pest Control, was able to make it out there on Monday. I just called him Monday at 9. He was out there by noon. And he mixed up a, some dust. It was called Tempo Dust 1%. And this is to spray into the nest. He had a, some long extinction rods to... Um, work his way up to that nest and then it has sort of like a little bag with a rod on the end of it that you put into the hole and that blows into the nest therefore with that powder spread all over the place the um, wasps will be able to go in and out of the nest and carry it deep into the hive and into the nest to kill all of the um, insects that are down in the hive now he there's you can see the bag there real closely with its little stem he measured to see just how much higher he'd need it and then decided to put on another extension to that pole now again as i explained in the post that i have on the website i'm not sure why he doesn't wear some the hood veil eye goggles some kind of protection but then you know that's his choice so he is reaching over there and getting ready to try and zap this hive of yellow jackets. You can see where he's going over toward the nest and putting that little probe back into the holes, sort of like the little um, holes in the paper mound that the yellow jackets have made. And then he, I have some mechanism in that stick, poofs that dust back into that hole. I'm not real sure how all that works, but we're watching from the opposite window. And you can see how those yellow jackets begin to swarm. And I guess just entirely from their instinct to protect the hive, because some of the insects that we've seen were dusted in white and they just kind of flew real crazy like and bumped into the windows and died. So I am assuming it hits them and can kill them instantly, but the rest of them just swarm to try to protect the hive. Now, from what I've read, all of these are the workers. He's got it stretched up pretty far up there. And I guess maybe destroying some of the paper nest as he goes. Look at all those. And they just swarm and swarm like crazy. And again, we're not out there I'm at an opposite window at the other end of the house, watching this and zooming in as far as I can. Now here he goes on a second pass, doing the same thing, just kind of putting that little probe back into the nest. I can't believe how many there are. He's finished and he's walking the 
little stem back over here and got to put all his equipment away for the dust. Now he is continuing putting away all of his tools and equipment from that first dusting into the nest, but this is only the first part of the treatment that he's giving the house. The rest of the treatment will follow in just a few minutes. Now the second part of his application on that first day was spraying an insecticide. It was Tallstar P, that 0.06% solution. He just sprayed it there around the window and across the area where the nests were. That's the only area that he sprayed, just kind of back and forth across that top opening. And I hate to spray insecticides because I know that'll get all the insects, good and bad, but it just had to be done. We've got to get rid of these things. So we were told to watch for two or three days until we saw no more yellow jackets around that opening or inside. He advised us to put a lamp in the window because if they got inside, they would be drawn toward the sun because they're trying to get out of this area. So I didn't use my bedroom. I kept out of there, but I did put a lamp day and night so that they would try to go toward the window if they got in instead of find me. The bad news is that on the next days we did find yellow jackets inside. Now they were either dead on the carpet or just alive enough that they flew around the window kind of bobbing around trying to get through the glass but it was just too bad. There were some on the floor, and when I walked in there in bare feet, I did get stung on the toe. So this just wasn't gonna work for us. We gave it a few days, because we thought, okay, give it two or three days. So we waited two or three days, but we kept seeing more and more, and that, that's just not gonna work. He had guaranteed six months for this same area that we were having our difficulty in. So I did call him back. We waited till Thursday to call him back. And that was the Monday after the Thursday after the Monday after treatment. And he was able to come back that following Friday. So I think that was prompt, prompt service by this company. I was really pleased that they were able to come right away. But with that nest right there on the other side of my bedroom wall, I've got to do something. So here we are on Act 2. We've called him back. He treated on Monday, so now it's the following Friday, and he's treating again. And this time it was just a repeat of the same dust. This time he did use his ladder and climb up to that second floor area in the back. Um, he had a 17-foot ladder, and it was just a little bit higher than that 17-foot. But I think he was better able to make an application using the ladder. So we were pretty pleased with the way this seemed to be working out. Now you can see the bees just kind of buzzing back and forth, a lot more than just two or three. It was more than we found acceptable especially if they were getting inside. So he hooked up all his equipment. It was Eric, the same man. He hooked up all his equipment and brought that back around. Now I'm, those holes that I'm seeing is where we're going to have to have the brick redone, I think. I'm not sure. I've tried to look it up to see what to ask for, but repointing is what I think I'm gonna need to have done. Not to mention the caulking that's gonna need to be done there where the nests were and all along all the perimeters of the house because we're not going through this again. But here's Eric uh, kind of clipping some of the tree branches. It was a little hard for him to get a ladder in behind there, but
but we had already made a decision that we were going to get rid of this dappled willow anyway. It's too close to the house, too close to the irrigation piping and everything for those roots. So we wanted to um, just go ahead and get rid of it anyway. So here he goes, climbing up with his little apparatus, getting ready to spray again. And I think this first time when he did it, he kind of misjudged the length that he could reach comfortably. So he had to go back down, attach another extension, and then go back up again so he could better reach it. One more little extension should do it. And this is the same um, type of dust, Tempo 1%. And I have a, a link to those uh, items if you'd want to test that out for yourself. So I really felt like he was getting them. He had a better, I don't know, leverage to get that thing into those little holes being up on the ladder and you can see how of course they're beginning to attack again uh, in their swarm because of the intrusion of that probe into the nest but I really feel like a lot of that dust is going back into the nest look at that oh, it's crazy how they swarmed and it made me think what would I ever do if that was near the ground and we walked out back and were inside of a swarm like that with them stinging over and over. I have a little grandson here at the house. Not to mention we four adults that don't need to be stung like that, especially when it's the yellow jacket that can sting you over and over and over again. That is such a horrifying sight. I know yellow jackets are good for farmers. They pollinate, they attack the um, caterpillars, other bugs, things that bother crops, but I can't have them in my house, not on the side of the house. So here he goes with dose number two. And I think dose number two is really the kicker dose that really got rid of these yellow jackets. And again, my own aside opinion, I don't know why he isn't wearing a hood, a veil, goggles, something, because that dust is going back down toward him. I know he did get stung several times, but I don't know. I would just think that even if I can stand the yellow jacket sting, I would want to be protected from that stuff falling on me, falling onto my skin and into my eyes etc. But that's just me. Look at all that. Now that is a good, good dose. I was feeling very, very optimistic after watching this. And that's about it, but you can still see the whiteness. Now, he did not do further insecticide, just the dust treatment. But it looks good. They are still swarming like crazy. But basically, as he explained, they will crawl back down and take that um, powder and dust that's going to kill the rest of the hive. But it has to go back into the hive. La. Look at all those swarms. They just keep coming. It is so strange. You wouldn't think that they would still hang around that, but unfortunately they do. Now, it does concern me that they're, the nest is up there under that soffit. I'm afraid they might be going into those vents. Um, so far, we've not had any in that screened porch that's right next door to there, but there's always tomorrow, but you can see all of that, the swarm of the insects. 
Oh, it just looks so scary. I hate to even worry about someone in the future, like having them paint that wood and everything. I don't know if we would be obligated to warn them. I guess we should. But he's finished now for outside, putting his ladder away. But the next thing he's doing is checking inside on the other side of my bedroom window. We're going to drill some holes in there and put that um, dust, the um, what's it called, tempo dust, back into these holes from the inside through the wallboard. He listened, and with the, the um, yellow jackets all angry and swarming, he could hear them through the wall. So he has dr knocked some holes there. First we u used a probe and a hammer, but then Jerry ran and got a drill, and he's drilled holes in there. I don't care if it messes up that wall. We'll repair the wall. We'll repaint there. I don't care. I don't want to wake up with bees in my hair. Well, yellow jackets in my hair, wasps in my hair. So I'm all for anything that's necessary to get rid of this. Now I think he, yes, he taped it with some sticky tape. Once he drilled a hole, just in case the yellow jackets would try to come back through into the house through that hole, he put sticky tape on there. So it was a barrier for them so that they can't come in. And I like that idea. We did put tape around the those darker looking holes or spaces where drapery um, hookups were and we taped those also because they could possibly come through those big holes. So we put tape over those also. He did that for me and taped around the perimeter of the window so that we wouldn't have to worry about anything coming through there because that's possibly where they were getting in originally. And thank God they got in a few times so that we were forewarned before they, I don't know, eventually ate their way through into the house. I don't know what might, could have happened. But I'm feeling very optimistic about this treatment that we've done this time. Or that I should say that he's done because he's the one doing it. But he's dusted, taped up holes. So I think we're in good shape this time. Well, it seemed by the following day, there were no more yellow jackets, either outside or inside. So it looked like that last treatment has solved our problem. I was even able to open my bedroom window and lean out and look up toward where the nest is. But there were no yellow jackets, nothing out there. Now we'll have to have that area caulked so that they knew wasps won't come back next year to nest and it looks like we're going to need to repoint some of the brick because there are quite a few holes now that I've all of a sudden become very conscious of. Poor little praying mantis. I think it's a victim of the insecticide that was sprayed. Poor thing. I really feel bad but thank God I think it's over now. Well hopefully it is. Wish us luck.